Hi, this is Andrea Earl with your Canvas tip of the day, number four, getting the most out of the rich content editor. The rich content editor has a lot of tools that help you put content into your assignments and pages and help you make, them, make it look good. Our activity today is which one doesn't belong. Now this is a heading, so I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna change paragraph to heading. Now I want to import a picture. I have the picture already saved on my desktop, so I can click on the add picture. Now I'm gonna upload the image from my desktop, but if you already had the image uploaded into your course, you could choose it here, or an image from one of your users, you could select it here. So let's go ahead and upload an image from my desktop. All I'm gonna do is drag it on. I am, however, going to put a descriptor or alternative text. This really helps students who are visually impaired. And hit submit. Now the picture is pretty big. I can grab the little handle on the right to make my, um, my editing box bigger, but I'm gonna shrink that down. That's a little too big. Now, what if you want to import content from the web? You now have, for YouTube videos, we have this plug. When you click on the plug, you're gonna get a drop down. If you don't see these items, go to view all, scroll down, and here I have YouTube. Now I need to go to YouTube and find the video I want. I'm gonna click the share button. Then I copy the share link. And now I go back to my Canvas assignment. I'm gonna paste that share URL into the search bar and hit enter. And here is the video that I want. I select embed, and now my video is embedded in my assignment. I hope you too will spice up your lessons with images and video from the web. I hope you enjoyed this Canvas tip of the day in two minutes or less.